Gas freeing. Stripping. Stripping is the operation whereby cargo pumps are operated by throttling the discharge valves in order to discharge as much liquid as possible from the cargo tank. This is done at unloading port before docking. Sparging. Sparging is the process where the remaining liquid in the cargo tank is vaporized by blowing hot gas into the cargo tank from relic compressors. Vaporization is considered completed once the rate in rise of bottom tank temperature increases rapidly and also when there is no rise in tank pressure. Tank temperature is to be increased above atmospheric temperature to prevent condensation. Point to remember is not to increase hot gas temperature above 70 degrees centigrade. Inerting before dry dock. Inerting before docking is the process where the inert gas is supplied into the cargo tank so that the content of propane, butane or LPG is reduced to less than explosive limit. The content of the inert gas should be over 95% of the volume of gas in the tank. It is effective if inert gas is supplied through relic gas line from top and discharge the exhaust gas from the bottom of the tank through liquid line and pump discharge line. Aeration Aeration is done by blowing fresh air into the tank. Once the content of gas in the tank reaches to less than the explosive limit. Normally this is done in two ways. One by supplying dry air from inert gas generator through dryer and the other is by using hydro blower portable fans. The fresh air supplied by inert gas generator is sent through relic gas line and inert gas from the cargo tank is discharged through liquid line and pump discharge line. For aeration of cargo hold, at least two manholes on upper deck are to be opened and fresh air is to be supplied into the hold through inert gas generator via inert gas aeration line. Portable hydro blower can also be used for aeration of cargo hold. Oxygen content is to be achieved not less than 20% and hydrocarbon contents less than 0.095%.